folks, welcome back to the Wild West Crypto Show. I'm Drew. I'm Brent. And we have with us from uh, California, we've got Dirk Luth with Upland. Dirk, welcome to the Wild West Crypto Show. Hello, howdy, howdy, how are you? <laughs> Hey, we off camera. We were we were praising Dirk's shirt with with the llama on it. I love that, um, and and he's yeah. gonna send us some. We're gonna love that too. Tell us a little bit about your project, Dirk. Yeah, you know, you guys, you know, we've met. You know, we've done you know significant progress since we met last year at the Blockchain Week in Las Vegas. Uh, so right, it was a, was a great interview at that time already. But at this time, we weren't even out with the project. Right, it was all stealth in a certain way. But since then, we launched in January. And since then, it's been absolutely great for us, you know, what, what has happened. So but just to, as a quick reminder, what is the Upland? And um, also we changed a little bit the pitch here. What we say today, Upland is a metaverse. I explain in a second what that is, right? Which is mapped to the real world and where people play for fun. They can earn money or they can connect with other, other players. And, um, you know, originally we started out and we got inspired by the whole idea of uh, Monopoly. Uh, you know, we, we played Monopoly, the three founders, and said, hey, why don't we bring that to the blockchain? And um, that's actually the result. But today, Upland, what we say, is much more going to the direction of a metaverse, which is, you know, a parallel world where people can do things. So what do you do today in Upland? It's very much like Monopoly uh, as, as an original idea. Uh, you know, it's you know, what you do is you purchase uh, properties which are uh, based on a real world address currently in San Francisco. We just opened up um, New York as well, and uh, going to open up also Fresno in California soon. Well, there's several reasons for that, but these are the two cities which are open. However, the most action currently is happening in uh, San Francisco. So you, what you do is you purchase a property. Once you bought it, you become the proud owner of, let's say, you know, two, three, four Mission Street or something. And um, then you start earning a yield on it, which is our in-game uh, currency, which is called Apex. And um, you get roughly 70% a year, but you can increase those apex by several things. So one is, for instance, you complete a collection. So collect three properties on the same street, you get a boost in apex in your apex earnings. Or participate in a treasure hunt. Uh, uh, we have lots of treasure hunts. You find, have to find treasures with piñatas, which are piñatas you have to hit and stuff like that. And then we have live events. Uh, so that's uh, where, you know, we had a San Francisco art walk and love tour, how we call it, 4th of July parade. And there's a lot, of, always something going on in Upland, uh, bringing, you know, people, you know, bringing people back in, into the app. But what makes us really different from any other blockchain game out there is that we made it from day one, easy to understand even for non-blockchain people. So we're pretty proud that we believe we have already today, 30% of our users are not blockchain people which is very important to go really attract the mass market. And <clears throat> so the way it works is today, we are the only blockchain app which is available on iOS, Android, and on the web. Uh, so we have that. Uh, you can purchase our in-game currency, what I just mentioned, um, not just you know with crypto. You can also purchase on the web with credit card or PayPal, also with crypto or in-app purchases. And the new thing is, and we announced that we have a partnership with Second Life, which is somehow, you know, the granddaddy of all metaverses out there. Um, uh, we will introduce soon uh, Fiat Out. That means you will be able to start selling your uh, properties to other players for US dollars. So that's makes you, of course, interesting. Because also, again, we are the first game allowing that. So we're innovating on a, on a lot of ends. And, and what's also coming this year is uh, property development. You can start building on your properties and you can run eventually a business on there, right? You can run maybe virtual nursery and selling virtual plants to other players, making actually money in a certain sense, like, like, like a real job, right? Or what we also will introduce is what we call NFT gallery. We're super excited about that one because what we will have is what we call an NFT gateway. If we launch it this year or early next year, we have to see, but um, the idea is you can import any NFT from any other game and any other blockchain, put it into Upland, and then maybe, you know, let's say you have, to, you have a crypto kitty and put it on your wall in your virtual building, <laughs> right? So this is super, super exciting. But you think, think about it, it goes even one step further. Um, we also want to bring real world assets into the game. I mean, it has a lot of regulatory implications, but let's say you have a uh, you tokenize a Picasso drawing or you tokenize an old-timer sports car. 
Now in real life, you only own this one token and now you can bring it into Upland and now you can put the full Picasso drawing on your virtual building, your virtual house, right? Or you can drive around this uh, virtual sports car. So this is all coming in the next, you know, in the next month. And we're super excited about that, you know, that we're blurring the world, real world with the virtual world here. Hey, Dirk, you, 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 got my, you got my interest when you started talking about developing. So listen, if you need some, some real world uh, experience about how screwed over you can be as a developer by <laughs> the city, the regulators, the inspectors, all the people that don't pay squat for your property or your construction or your taxes, but think that they own your property other than you, you could make that game not just interesting, <laughs> You could make it very frustrating. <laughs> yeah, that's what we probably need, right? We need the real life frustration. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh... <laughs> so who who would be your who would be your because I get enough of that frustration developing on my own. Who would be kind of the quintessential uh, user, non blockchain user, as far as demographic, age, sex, what whatever. Yeah, that's a very good question. So the way we position Upland is basically, you know, when you're very young, and I don't know if you're kids or grandkids or whatever, right? Then they play Roblox, right? Um, this is, you know, the first game. Then they eventually move into Minecraft. And, you know, I tend to say, you know, the core age groups for Minecraft is 15 to 25 or something, right? And then eventually thereafter, it's Upland. That's how we envision it, right? Upland is going to be the demographic 21 year olds plus because eventually, you know, you can run a business there, right? And, and you know, what I said, you earn money in, in the app. It's not just by speculating on the prices of property, but eventually creating value and, and you know, and then selling those goods to, to other players, which is super, uh, the direction we're, we're going to go, right? And so that's, if it's going to be more female or male, we have to see, because right now it's a little bit more male driven because it's, you know, it's, block, it's still a blockchain and you trade things, but eventually the picture when you can build out your house, you can put a virtual garden. I think it's also going to be attractive, very attractive uh, to lots of uh, female users. Yeah. Hey, so, so let me ask you a question now, especially since you all have expanded what you're doing. You're talking about real world assets. So can I get me a virtual Lamborghini? Because that's probably the only kind of Lamborghini I'd ever get is a virtual one. <laughs> so, so can I get a virtual Lamborghini with my house and everything and upland? Yeah, yeah that's, that's the idea. So, so first of all, we started talking. I mean, there's two things we have to differentiate. So one is actually we want to bring those real world brands into, into uh, upland. That means we started reaching out to car manufacturers, right? So that they would actually have the opportunity to bring, you know, a replica of whatever sports car they have into Upland and then they sell it there to, to a player and the player can sell it to other players or whatever, right? And maybe the, you, need, you need gas, you need maybe to fix it, maintenance, all these kind of things, which are in real life you might have in Upland as well. And then the other piece is this, uh, real world asset you know tokens right which is you know when you have a real car and that is tokenized so if there's a lamborghini which has been tokenized i mean again it's a lot of regulation stuff this is not coming short term uh, but we eventually you know our vision is to get there right you own this maybe you have one thousand one of a thousand tokens of lamborghini that's uh, how much lamborghini these days i don't know three hundred thousand let's make it easy three hundred thousand dollars there's maybe you know a thousand you know tokens for three thousand dollars to make it simple right you only only want this one piece but now you bring it into upland and then we have a replica in upland and now you can drive your lamborghini for three thousand dollars well, well i tell you what dirt and our believe it or not our time's up i told you it'd be like an eight second ride at the rodeo but <laughs> but uh oh, you know congratulations on your growth and i remember when we visited with y'all at world CryptoCon, and you know y'all have come a long way congratulations congratulations on the launch and Keep us posted as things continue to evolve. Absolutely. And keep up with the funny story. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> hey, well, good, good. Thank you very much. Great talk to you, Dirk. All Folks. right. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. You bet. Bye. Wild West Crypto Show. Be back here in two minutes. Bye.